friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs, and you know that already. You know who I am. Hey, I've got a couple of challenges I'd like you to consider and pray about during 2012 to help make your 2012 just be an awesome year. And the first is challenge yourself to go clear through the Bible in an entire year. And you can read it the way I personally do it. I listen to the Daily Audio Bible each and every day. Uh, Brian records it. You can, you can download that uh, for free through iTunes and listen to it. You know, if you've got an iPhone or an iPod uh, or on your computer, that's one way you could do it. And there's other Bible uh, readings that you can get to. I just particularly like this one. I like his, his soothing voice and and he's got some nice background music and so I find it um, a very good way to start my day and I've gone through it twice now the last two years so 2012 will be my third year to start going through it again and each and every year I just get more and more and more out of the Bible so whether you choose to do it that way or to read through the Bible uh, I challenge you to do that during 2012 all right, the second challenge that I have for you, it comes from a book that I read some time ago called A Thousand Gifts from Anne Voskamp. And what I'm challenging you to do is to write down a thousand things from now till the end of 2012 that you are thankful for. And just to get yourself a composition notebook and begin writing. And you know, you can start with the obvious, you know, you're thankful that God gave us his son so that we can have eternal life. Absolutely. And then I'm thankful, of course, for my husband and my children, the roof over my head, food in my tummy. Uh, those are obvious things. But then start looking beyond that. Look into the deeper things, the, all the beautiful gifts God gives us to be thankful for each and every day. Um, you know, maybe it's a beautiful flower that you see, or a sweet butterfly, um, the, the snow, the snow is just, it's, the snowflakes are beautiful as they come down. Um, maybe it's the smell of your Thanksgiving turkey roasting in the oven, that smell is just, it's so delicious, and it's just, just all these little things that I think really pass us by, and we don't stop to, to take just that moment to be thankful for and to realize God has given us all these amazing gifts. So I think if you if you record them in in your in your notebook and start writing them down and at the end of the year you look back at all you have to be so grateful and so thankful for, you, you're gonna feel so blessed and it's just it's it's gonna be wonderful. It, you're gonna have an awesome 2012. And I have to show you one other quick thing that I'm very thankful for. I want to tell you all, I appreciate so, so much all the prayers that you have given for our daughter Emily. I just, and Emily thanks you too. We can't thank you enough for all that. You know, she, she has good days and bad days. In the last couple of weeks, we've had some some really nice days and I took some pictures of her that I want to show you really quickly because to see true genuine smiles and, and happiness and joy in her heart is just when we have those bad times with Emily with her Lyme's disease and everything it's just that that's a really tough time to go through and so I've captured just precious precious smiles I'm gonna show you really quick I've got them on my phone we were in Kansas for the holidays, and this is taken in Hutchinson, Kansas at the Cosmosphere. They have, outside of Hutchinson, there's an exotic uh, wild animal park and bed and breakfast, and they had happened to bring in some of their animals to the Cosmosphere, and we were driving by, and Emily asked if we could stop. So anyway, I wanna show you these sweet pictures, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. All right, here is, I wanna come around here so I'm sure you can see it. We've got Emily and her sister Katie, and uh, they had brought in a giraffe here. And Emily says, she says, 
I'm trying to get it in good focus here. The giraffe said the cage there. And Emily says, Mom, take a take a picture of me with the giraffe, which I caught. And the giraffe was looking up. And then as she was also posing for the picture, that giraffe just leaned right down and gave her a kiss. And oh, I wish you could I'm trying to get that good smile on her face. That's too close. Anyway. Oh, uh, that, you know, I'm just, I'm so thankful I got those on picture and, and on camera. And it's just, her, her smile there is so genuine and so beautiful. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for it. So, it's just, I'm thankful for that moment. And, and every time I, I look at these pictures on my phone, it just, it just makes me smile. So, that's something that's going in my notebook, or it's already gone in my notebook. Anyway, alright, I challenge you to do those two things, and I hope you had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. Alright, bye everyone. God bless. We'll see you soon.